Hello, new way for BritishHeavyMetal.com here. Today is the 29th of April 2021. Before we get into it, if I could make the usual opening request for a favour, and that's if you would please subscribe to the channel, that would be excellent and appreciated. Righty ho then, the marvellous Tigers of Pantang and, and the marvellous box set, the MCA years. Now, of course, back in 1980, new wave of British heavy metal was on the rise, and the Tigers of Pantang were, were up there to the forefront with the likes of your Iron Maiden, Def Leppard, Saxon, Samson, etc. as a band that was surely going to make it big and go places. Three absolutely stone cold Dundee classic albums issued in 1980 and 1981 that would surely cement their status as a monster band, wouldn't it? Well, mm, until the fourth album in 1982 pretty much killed them stone dead. But in this excellent box set, and very reasonably priced as I uh, record this video, I picked mine up for about 20 quid. We've got those three classic albums, The Career Killer, and a superb disc of live performances, which includes BBC in concert from 1981, Friday Rock Show session, Friday Rock Show was, was great back then, and their set from when they performed at the 1982 Reading Festival. Great box set. The Tigers are still active. Uh, check out their excellent album Ritual from 2019, for example. And th this box set is, is similar to those out for the likes of Girl School, Raven and Samson, etc. Now, to, to, the, to the CDs, the, uh, the albums, the, 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 their debut album, Wildcat, instant classic, right? Lots of youthful exuberance and enthusiasm, monster songs, brutal riffs, some savage guitar from Rob Weir, thumping, galloping rhythm section and those excellent vocals of Jess Cox. From first note to last, it's nothing short of monster throughout. Euthanasia, Slipped, Freedom, Money, Wildcat, Susie Smile, and all the rest of them. Wildcat's up there with comparable with, with any new wave of British heavy metal debut from back then that you'd care to mention. Then it got even better with the follow-up, Spellbound. Jess Cox went, in came a new vocalist, John Deverell, and uh, to beef things up on the guitar front with Rob Weir, in came the marvellous John Sykes. Deverell has a, a larger range than Cox, and Sykes needs no introduction, what, what a player he is. Spellbound was a clear step up from Wildcat, a more expansive, refined sound and style without losing any impact. Sykes and Weir trading off the big riffs and the spectacular soloing, check out in particular Gangland, Take It, Tiger Bay and Blackjack being particular standouts. Again, from start to finish, you just can't go wrong here. Next up, uh, shortly afterwards from Spellbound came Crazy Nights. This was a slightly more melodic and catchy feel to it, though it's still great and fresh. Nothing duff about it at all. All the elements remain which make Spellbound so great. And uh, with, with Crazy Nights coming out in 1981 as well, it kept up that momentum. And surely the band would continue on that upward trail. Hmm, well, hmm. Then it all came to a crashing halt in 1982 when, when they put out The Cage. Sykes had gone, in came Fred Purser, and The Cage, certainly, well in my opinion at least, it's, it's practically unlistenable. Monstrously overproduced, far too slick, no, no power, it's weak, lacklustre. Maybe they've been pressured from the record company to become more commercial, I don't know, but for, for whatever the reason, The Cage is, is a stinker. It did sell in respectable numbers, remarkably enough, and gave them a, a moderate hit single with, with Love Potion number no. 9. And, but bar that, the only song which sounds anything like the Tigers should sound is you always, you always see what you want to see. The rest of it, massive, massive turkey. Pretty much stopped them stone dead. Uh, and that's a shame, but the, the first three albums, you can't go wrong. Proper classic stuff. So now on to disc five and the superb classic live performances. All phenomenal stuff. Uh, what, what a stage presence. Just shows how great the Tigers were back then and why the cage apart. They should have been right up there with your Iron Maidens and your Def Leppards and all the rest of them. Classic new wave of British heavy metal doesn't get much more than much better than those first three albums. And this M MCA. Uh, year's box set is surely an essential purchase 
just go out and get it. You say I, I picked mine up a few days ago for about twenty quid, and well, you know, you, you pff, bargain, right? Bargain. There's a link to the album, well, sorry, album box set on Amazon in the description below, as always, and also a link back to the post on the website if you'd like to read that. Tigers of Pantang, marvellous band, The Cage Apart, but ev everyone, we can forgive them a shocker, can't we? But anyway, just check it out, say link, links below. Marvellous, classic new wave of British heavy metal. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and of course, do take care.